Well, the old XPS M1210 died. Um, it's got the issue that I think most of them would, that have the NVIDIA graphics normally have. Um, and it loses video. Video goes garbled and and it's a known issue on these and for a while uh, it's a heat issue and for a while Dell was uh, extended warranty on them but and was replacing the motherboards but that that plan replacement plan is long gone so uh, it has now become parts so one dies another lives on what we've got here is a freebie this is a I don't even know what this is. It's a Dell. Inspiron 9400. And we're going to see what all parts we can use off of it. Or use off of here. So I've pulled the hard drive. Actually, this is a hard drive. I'd already pulled the hard drive out of this and moved it over to another. My son was using this laptop, so I pulled the solid state I had in here and moved to another laptop I picked up. And so the one that was in the laptop I picked up for him, that's this drive. And it's a uh, 320 gig, uh, 7200 RPM SATA drive. And so out of the shop, I really don't care. Um, You know it, it is what it is I don't need a solid state at the shop so this laptop uh, we're gonna go ahead and update or upgrade the hard drive and the memory on it uh, so for the memory you pull these two screws out release those two clips pull it out This thing, it's spider webs all in it. It's been sitting for years. And that was actually the upgraded memory uh, I had already put in there. And I was like, well, I should probably do a video on it. So we've got what we salvaged out of the other one. We've got two two gig sticks. We'll pop those in. Thing's also missing a few screws, so I pulled them out of there, pulled a few out of there to put in here. This laptop is looks like it's seen a rough life, but it works, so we will uh, use it. And for the shop, I don't care if it looks beat up because it's going to get greasy and oily. So Here's the drive that was in it. It's an 80 gig, 5400. That's, that's a pretty awful drive. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, take these two screws out. You got one on each side, and I'm gonna swap in this drive from the M1210. Took those two screws out. Drive lifts out. Got a little dust in there, blow it out, and we take our other drive, I guess I should have taken this out of here beforehand, see if we can do it one handed, this one, there, and I don't think I can start these screws one handed, um, and I forgot to mention, the hard, the hard drive slot, the tray on this one is it's underneath. If you look, there's a little uh, picture hard drive for these two screws. You pull those two screws out and the tray slides out. So let me get the two screws back in here. We'll slide the tray back in and put the two screws back in that hold the tray. All right.
back in. This thing's missing a, a cover right here. I don't know what went here. There's a plug right here. So I guess something plugged in <clears throat> to whatever's missing here, but I don't know what it is. So it seems to work fine without it, whatever it was. All right, so I'm actually downloading the latest copy of Linux Mint. And we are going to install it on here. And I'm just going to burn it to a CD. Uh, I don't have a cleared off jump drive. It's my trusty Latitude E6500. It is old and it still works well. So, I'm burning that to disk. And after that gets done, we'll start the install on here and do that as a separate video. Thanks for watching.